Hey guys, welcome to a little shootout, a little Clone Wars, if you will, um, versus the two kind of my two picks for the best sub sixty pound battle song. Um, in fact, if you're yeah, the sub sixty pound battle song. Um, so we're going to include the arm shock cracking in here as well, and the seventy seventy five version of this. So what we have here is the brand new, the one seventy seventy five aluminium eye basilisk clone here. Uh, beautiful knife, um, some tang pins. Uh, no clue what the blade steel is, but 7075 aluminium, so pretty durable. And we also have the 6061 aluminium Kraken here, the Cracker Kraken by Bally Plus. It is the aluminium, uh, the 6061 one rather than the 7075 one. And uh, I truly think um, that one of these here is probably the best value for money battle song you can buy below £60. Pounds. Um, so yeah, we're quickly going to touch the arm shot Kraken. I think if you have the money for it, it's a really good first trainer. Uh, it's a really good battle song. I'd probably say that's the best value um, because it's 7075, but it's a trainer. So if you want a live blade, that's really out the option. So really the only other option here would be the 7075 Bally Plus. Now I think that this is better than most of the 7075 Bally Plus live blade Krakens uh, for one reason. Uh, and that's because this is on standard bushings, whereas most of them are on the floating bushing system. Where I do believe their new buoy inked ones are on the traditional flow, uh, the traditional horse system again. Um, but then again, Bally Plus Torrance is also like all over the place. So I guess if you want one, you can do that. They come in other colors. I think they just come the same, basically the same colors. Um, but the blade is different uh, and requires more modification than this does here. So that's why I think this is actually a better choice than the 7075 one. Because um, for reasons I will tell you very quickly. Um, yeah, we're going to have a little shootout here. So obviously, material wise, the blades are made of the same whatever on earth it could possibly be. Um, and then the handles here, uh, the 7075 here for this beautiful purple, um, um, what's this called? The basilisk here. Um, and, uh, this little, this little plaster was actually given to me by the basilisk. This thing came outrageously sharp. And dude, this is like straight up throwing off my flipping. So sorry if there's not as much flipping in this video as there, as there could be. And then, um... There's a 66 one aluminium. The blade steels are, for all intents and purposes, the same. Um, you know, they are miscellaneous blade steel. But this, uh, obviously, they're both on T8 hardware. However, this, I'd say, probably takes the cake because this T8 hardware, one, fits T10 hardware, so you can just buy T10 uh, screws and they will just fit inside, or M3 screws if you prefer uh, a hex, an Allen key head hex bit which is like stupid by Torx, uh, because Torx is much more durable. Um, but obviously more people have Allen keys, right? So, you know, you can buy just an M3 bit and you, you can and do that. You can also get authentic squid hardware, including washers, and that fits on this blade in these handles as well. So, and it does make it sound better. Um, this already sounds pretty good. I mean, if we go for Torrance's like, you know, I've got no wiggle. I've got a pretty, pretty solid tune. So there's your play. And it sounds pretty damn good as well. Um, and yeah, so one thing that's really nice is that you can make a Franken Kraken with this because this blade fits on real handles with real hardware and flips kind of like a half price authentic Kraken, to be honest. Because real Kraken trainer is what, 240 the, uh, pounds that is, I think. Um, the real Tanto Kraken is $300 thereabouts. Maybe 220 on the art second hand marketplace, but I've never seen a really good mint condition one of these go over like less than kind of 250 because 280 I believe 280 290 is their like retail price right so 300 bucks um for the for the real one of this whereas you can also have one that flips I'm gonna say like 95 90 pretty much as close as possible um to the real deal by having you know half more than half the real deal um just with this this Bally Plus blade um it's really nice I'm not a fan that they use the Squid Industries logo here but it is what it is um uh, the blade you know. It is what it is. Uh, this is a light handle bias, um, neutral to light handle bias. It is slightly more neutral than the real Kraken, as it is right now. Um, and I believe if you were to side by side flip this with a real Kraken, um, I don't think you'd be able to tell the crazy difference if they were on the uh, like the same handles, like balance wise. Uh, maybe you might notice if you really really love the Kraken, um, but like realistically you're not telling like a crazy difference other than obviously the, the feel of the handles right i mean this is more grippy than a real kraken so <laughs> that's something um yeah it's a uh, neutral to light handle bias as you can see that 
um, and super, super good flipper. There's literally everything, um, all the ladders you could want. Um, obviously being handled by us, Chaplin's like a dream. Um, it's not too light. It's actually really hefty, healthy weight, not hefty. I believe it's somewhere between 100 and somewhere around 120. Might be a little more, might be a little less. Uh, I'm not really sure. I would weigh it, but uh, my scale is uh, broken at the moment, which is really fun. Um, and then we have this thing, which is 7075, so better, better, um, what do we call it? Um, materials, uh, I guess. Uh, here is my, my play, which is not crazy. Oh, and also that's on that's on Zen pins, that's on on tank pins. So if you have your preference there, keep watching. Um, but yeah, so when it comes to this, this is on tank pins one, and uh, I will say this does sound better. Um, this definitely does sound better, um, and it's a much more hey, it's 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 bouncier. It's it's a good knife. This is a, this is a really good balance on. However, this thing is crazy lightweight. Like, this is 100 grams thereabout, give or take 5, five grams, maybe, maybe, maybe like 100 in like 2, or like dead 100. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I also haven't weighed this. Maybe in the review, I'll, I'll have it weighed by then, by the official review. Um, but yeah, this thing is a light, I say light, it, it's, it's, a, it's a blade bias, right? However, um... Even though the handles are super light, like this thing is crazy lightweight. There is a fair bit of weight towards the end. Most of the weight is towards the end. And so it does actually uh, do like your rollovers and stuff fairly confidently. Oh gosh, I need to be careful with this thing because uh, this thing is still scary sharp. I'm genuinely considering drilling it because of how sharp it is. Um, it's to the point where it's it's unethically sharp, right? Um, but yeah, it, it, it does your rollovers, you know. Right, it'll, it'll do them all. It'll do all the, the important ones. I would do a helix, but uh, this plaster on my thumb from this guy um, is uh, really, really in the way here. Um, and also, I think this is just a much more beautiful blade. I think the blade is much prettier. Um, full color kind of blade style. And it's a stone wash rather than a mirror finish. Um, or, or just a machine finish there. Um, it's also on T8 hardware. You could probably drill this out to make, make it fit T10 or something. Um, the washers, definitely, you can also sort them out. This is on floating, so it actually sounds surprisingly... Surprisingly good for floating washers, um, which I like. And also, the tank pins are a nice change. They are definitely different to, to Zen pin construction knives. I've not had a tank pin knife since, like, my first, first one or two knives. Um... And I have to say, it is it is a really nice addition to my collection. Um, I do plan on possibly getting better hardware for this, because I think once I get better hardware, I can definitely give it a much tighter tune um, rather than this. I mean, this isn't bad by any means, especially for the price that these are, but um, it's it's not incredible. So I think if you have your preference in terms of... Yeah, if you have your preference in terms of... Um, or you prefer flipping in terms of balances... Uh, that's kind of an, a clear indicator because the price difference between these two isn't very much. Um, I think this is slightly more expensive, uh, like like a few quid. Um, yes, that's this is lighter, and it's more blade blade bias. This is lighter and it's comfortable handle bias. This is very competitive. This is less competitive. Uh, this is quite a fun flipper though, and this this is like scary light though. Like it's it kind of threw me off when I first flipped it. If you like tan pens as well. This is also that. This is just a very different option you can get for the same price. Um, yeah, and um, obviously I've not got this tightened down, so I, sometimes it might actually be a little bit better than, than what I'm showing here. But um, I do quite like this. Which would I say is the better knife? Oh, I'm sorry, it's going to still have to remain the Kraken here. Um, also, this is on Carbon Honey, because I did sell this, unfortunately. Um, yes, this is the last video you'll see. This specific knife. Uh, I might get a third one of these, or whatever. Um, because this is my second one. Um, I guess I just keep having plans for them, and then they end up being too expensive, and then I just sell them. Um, but yeah, no, this, this, is, this is still, probably, in my opinion, the king of the budget clones. This is... More value for money than the Nobalis Volp. However, if you want an original knife, that's still probably the best the best option in this budget. Um, although that's like 70 quid, so... 
it's up to you. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the clone market, I'd say these are still, these are probably your two best options. I do quite like this. Um, I think what's more likely to remain in my collection, probably this, because it's very different, it's very unique, and uh, to be honest, I'm kind of getting rid of knives that don't add something to my collection. Um, uh, such as the, the Kraken. I mean, I'm a bit Krakened out at the moment. Yeah, that's definitely loose. Um, yeah, I'm a bit cracking out to be honest at the moment, and um, so yeah, I just I'm enjoying different stuff, but I do think definitely at one point, um, you know, I will get something like this or a real one or this on real handles. I'll have some sort of uh, kraken in my collection because I think it's it's, it's a staple of of the Barson community, right? This is kind of like the gold standard, and this is about as close as you get to it in my opinion. Um, yeah, and so that's kind of been my little comparison, my little shootout on the uh, Balson clones. Bally Plus still remains king. Uh, I will say, know how to kind of tune um, if you will get one of these, um, because they could be, they could be all sorts, to be honest. Um, you could get a really good perfect tolerances on both of these, or you can get like a bit iffy, or you can get like an undersized bushing, or you could like, you know, ideally, to avoid any issues, you want to know how to tune, and then they're both brilliant choices to, to purchase. I mean, just get whichever one you, you like more. Um, this does sound better than this. Um, this is more clacky. This is like, I don't know, it, it sounds more premium like it's it's bouncier and that's what that's all um that's just because belly plus uh, uh quality control is a bit <laughs> if you know you know um but yeah this is the one obviously his knives come raise or their knives come razor sharp like this this came sharper than this like this like this also cut me the first day i got it um but like dude this thing is like wow. unethically almost scarily sharp because of how light it is it means you kind of have to like know what you're doing with your tricks, so you can't really get away with that, and it was, it's, it's, it's this bit here that cut me, like, the, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, enough about that, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, um, you know, if you want to take a look, if you want to get one of these, uh, let me know, um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, I can, I'll do my best to answer them, uh, as soon as I can, and, um, yeah, check out my music in the description, and, um, it's what it is, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one, uh, thanks for watching, <laughs> hope you enjoyed, peace.